And now you die. <laughs> you give up, do you? Too late. Well, let us uh, have a bit of story time, shall we? This is a short story called Exposing a Terrible Evil. I've had it up to here with the rogues and hoodlums that have turned our once great city of Kavach into a cesspool of crime and depravity. And do you know who the worst of the bad bunch happens to be? It's not the smugglers or the bandits or the piper. Pirates. It's that nest of vipers, that cult of secrets pretending to be a legitimate business. Oh, some of you have heard whispers, and some of you know the legends, but only I have learned the whole gory truth. And now I plan to expose these brutal fanatics to the light of day. Dark Brotherhood, prepare to be revealed as the cowardly murderers that you really are. I discovered this unfinished letter among my brother's papers, along with a journal full of evidence, anecdotes, and idle speculations about the supposed religious aesthetics who sell their dark talents to the highest bidder. While I can't prove it beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's certain... There's no uncertainty in my mind about the fate of my brother. He didn't die from eating a rotten red mushroom stew. No. He was brutally assassinated by those degenerate cultists who follow the whispers of the night. Oh dear, first my brother-in-law, now my husband. Who knew the men in my family were so fragile, so prone to dying at an early age? But maybe there's more. To what happened to the two brothers than the obvious conclusion. We're supposed to believe that two virile and healthy men in the prime of their lives simply keeled over and died while working at their writing tables? They've studied the letter they both began to write, reviewed the damning journal with its tales of murder for hire and dark rituals conducted in the dead of night? I've read it all, and there's only one conclusion I can come to. My brother and his husband and my husband and his brother died of natural causes. There's no such thing as a cult of paid killers operating on the Gold Coast, and anyone who tells you differently will probably wind up just like my beloved husband and his no-account brother. So to anyone who might read this, I'm burning the journal and putting all of this murder nonsense behind me. Probably just the same, I won't be eating any red mushrooms too in the foreseeable future. <laughs> and much as one might suspect, I think th that this woman has become a, a Dark Brotherhood cultist herself, yes? Mm. What a change in tone she had at the very end there. All it takes is to kill one innocent, and they say that uh, Lucy and Lachance will come and give you an invitation to join their unholy brotherhood. If Brandao were given the chance, <laughs> I would spit on this fellow. Use my own life trying to take him down. But he's only a messenger for the Night Mother. So, perhaps he would be replaced. Perhaps it would be a waste of Brandar to even try. But if I did try, I could rest with uh, some solace in that fact. I did my best to dispa disband this horrible group. And I think that's something that I can be proud of at least. Ah, some more old familiar territory. The Dragon Bridge. Hmm. Wolf Skull Cave should be uh, somewhere close around here. And Richard has beaten me here as well. Naughty boy. Naughty, naughty boy. Come here. Daddy's so mad at you. I called you down from the cliff. You did not come. Huh? Why you don't come? Pfft. <sighs> ah. I seem to be a. Uh losing myself quite a little bit around here. Quite curious to me that I would be led in a giant circle. I don't understand how or why. It seems uh, something wants me in this land, 
but also out of it. Perhaps one force is uh, keeping me running in circles to ensure that I don't leave, and the other is uh, sending dragons and trolls after me to ensure that I meet my fate in this land, that I end up perishing in some horrible way. I can only hope not, but one never does know, hmm? Ah, and here is the cave that I had promised I would clear. I shall do so. Be good, Richard. That's right, you hide from the skellies. Nasty little creatures they are. Ah! that. Down they go. Not so many wolves here. Ah, I've forgotten. I need to offload my pack. Richard, where have you gone? Oh lord. By the nine. How could this happen, huh? Well, I shall find my way back. This is how things will go. There. The statue of Meridia. Yes, this is where I received Dawnbreaker from. Perhaps it is the sword that keeps me here. Perhaps it is the sword summoning these, these things to try and end me. I've not seen so many trolls and dragons and bears and... Oh, I can't remember how long. Perhaps never. Quite interesting to me. Also quite terrifying. To not know whether you are uh, losing your sanity or not. It used to be something that was never questioned. Ah, let us see about this tavern, hmm? Perhaps I might also, uh, find a nice amulet? Yes, a bit of speechcraft. Quite nice. Ah, Respect and alone, my and you'll have no carrying amulet. Okay, I need that. Yes? Hello, I'm looking to sell a some things. A bit of that. Wonderful. Uh, 6,000 gold? Whew. I'll be taking all of that. I will tell you right now. You like dwarven bolts? Good, because I don't. <laughs> ah, dwarven sword of harrowing. Interesting. Certainly, I don't like this axe. Or this axe. No, no, I don't need any of these things. Iron battle axe? No wonder my, uh... My pack was so laden down. Ah, Iron Sword of Scorching. Perhaps I should be using this, huh? Hmm. Not quite strong enough. It is quite nice, though. Ah. <sighs> okay, you take it. Take it before I change my mind. Staff of Firebolt. Sanguine Rose. Ah, I shall keep my staffs for now. They're so heavy, but so lovely. Wouldn't you agree? I know you should like to pay me a great price for them. But, uh, I must keep them. I simply must. Got some bracers of luck picking. Hmm. I found some better ones. You can have these. The old ones. I don't need that. Hmm. Shield. Phew. Brandar does not use that for sure. Little uh, jade circlet. These are quite nice. I tell you that. Extreme alchemy helmet. Uh, heavy armor though. Maybe it's good for battle mage. Something like that. Brandar obviously is not that. And here some rings. There you are. Wonderful, wonderful. I've also got quite a few potions, if you are in the market for those. 
Here, some poisons. You like that? Uh, got some more poison. I always forget to use these, you know? Hmm. Damage magica. No thank you. I'd rather have the gold. <laughs> Perhaps it is good for you. I, I do hope that uh, you'll find some use from these things. But for Brandar, hmm. Not going to find much use from this, I'm afraid. So most of these and these. Resist magic. Hmm. Maybe a few of them. Yes, look at all of these things I have. My pack is just so heavy. Rattles around, it does. All the time. Running up and down the hills, I hear it. Clink, clink, clink. You know? It's, uh... Less stealthy than I would like. Hmm. The ingredients I have. What I'm really looking for... As always, it's uh, some more lockpicks. Do you have? Ah, very nice. Yes. I think that should be Farewell. it for now. Farewell indeed. As I always do. We were so close to the Wolf Skull Cave. Yes, as I said, Brandar's mind is sleeping. It's like I'm... Uh, Walking through a dream. Kind of awake, but also asleep at the same time. It's a strange sensation to describe. You can't imagine it unless you've experienced it for yourself. Look here, my, uh, my beacons stay active. Or more accurately, Meridia's beacons. Oh my, hello there. Falmore. Move along. You move along. Who are you? I am a Thalmor Justiciar on important business that you are interfering with. Oh, it's important business. You're interfering. What are you doing in Skyrim? Are you sure your Emperor wasn't lying to his elven masters when he agreed the Empire would give up false gods and foolish beliefs? Now go away. <laughs> False gods, this they say. Concern you, citizen. Oh, how I would like to do it. The elves are bad enough, but when they get so uppity, oh, we're better than everyone else. That's when I'd like to burn a hole in the back of their heads. Now is not the time. We've got many other tasks to complete. At least the Wolf Skull Cave. Finding my brother. Mm. Killing some dragons. Oh, yes. This might be good as well. Finding some alchemical tables and whatnot. Then I might uh, mix up some of these ingredients. Make my bag heavy once more. Hmm? <laughs> Ah, uh, where are we now? I think it was down in a hole that I was supposed to go. Hmm, Richard! Richard, help daddy! It's not here. Perhaps these stones mark the path. Ah, indeed so. Some more snowberries? Yes! I like. Is this why they call it Wolf Skull Cave? Hmm, not the most clever name I've ever heard, but uh, suitable, I do suppose. <sighs> now, let us find some undead. Let us cleanse this place. Were it simply wolves in here, I suppose that man wouldn't, wouldn't have come looking for help. Simple villagers can take out a pack of wolves, no problem, hmm? But when it comes to these drogiers, skeletons... Yes, I can imagine it's a bit more difficult. Luckily, Brandar is here. 
Dawnbreaker has come to save the day. Open this door. What was that? Ah, necromancers. It was you. Aha. Down they go. Every last one. Like magic? Do you? Ah. Suppose it was a bit unnecessary to beat my way through his ward. Ah. But by the nine, did it feel good? <laughs> ah. What is in this pile of ash? This pile of ash, which was once a person. We solved that problem, hmm? How about you? Anything nice for me? Not particularly. They live in a cave. I don't suppose their treasures are too great. Oh, my goodness. They seem to have animated a uh, frost atronarchs here. Quite powerful, quite terrifying, but also quite clunky. They might uh, fire a few bolts of ice, nothing Brandar can't handle. Yes, shatter them with the pure heat of my combat prowess. The hottest. Hmm. He seems to have left no trace of a corpse. I've had it with sneaking around. I've got more rage in me than I know what to do with at the moment. Ah. Down. Yeah! Yeah! Ah. Here's one worthy of my contest. Oh, and your skeleton friend that joins us, huh? <laughs> Adorable. Hmm, out of magicka. Well, I know a few ways to fix that. Hmm. Let us damage this fellow's magicka. Hmm. Yes, I shall. I shall restore my own magicka. One potion. That's all it takes to do it. Are you not paying attention to me? Pay attention to Brandar. I demand. There you are. Ah. It doesn't seem my potion has taken effect. Ah. Ah, he's got quite a few powers, doesn't he? Ah! Well enough. Take him down, and so his conjuration goes down as well. Ah! Terrifying. That these things are able to conjure creatures that are so powerful. Ah, oh, my. Deeper into the cave we go. I did not expect to find such things when I decided to take on this task. Look here. It seems somebody is uh, absorbing the power of this place. Hmm. I don't suppose uh, a simple arrow might do? Indeed not. Did nothing but alert everyone to my presence. Hmm. About this. Yeah, fine miss, Brandar. Ah, there we are. Take them down, one by one. So they fall. There we are. 
I need to aim a bit higher. I'm not so used to this long range combat. Maybe we get a little closer. My rage has tempered itself just a bit. Oh, hello there. Ah, as you can see, I'm either on one end of the spectrum or the other. Extreme rage or extreme apathy. Hmm. Is that another Frost Atronach down there? Hmm. I thought it was. Skeever Hides, Lesser Ward, Frenzy Potions. Yes. Some of these will come in quite handy, I'm sure. Look at this place, huh? Quite fantastical. You see nothing. You see nothing. You see nothing. Alright. Back up the stairs. Get them all lined up in a pretty little row. <laughs> Oh, one chop to the head. I have to feel kind of bad about that. Or do I? It's a necromancer after all. Ah, not worth the rope he's wrapped in. Ah. As for the drug ears, well, I see it as putting them back to rest. They've been disturbed from their eternal slumber by these necromancers. Clear out Wolf Skull Cave. Well, it seems to be cleared out, but uh... What about this fellow at the top? Still sucking up the life forces, I do think. The town around him. Oh my. Seems this necromancer cut the wrong end of the Atronarch that he con conjured, hmm? How does that happen? Fascinating. Well, even if these robes have a couple of holes in them, I suppose I could sell it for a few coin. He's not worth leaving clothed. Oh, and the drug here as well. Hmm. The mysteries get uh, stranger and stranger. You're dead. I thought the ice atronarchs were being conjured by these people. Help. It seems I was wrong. Help. Oh boy. Here we go. How's that? Ah! Yes, yeah, just burn. Stay there and burn. I need to ward myself. There. Nicely done. Ah, oh, Dawnbreaker, where have you gone? There we are. This is how it's supposed to be. Ah! Oh my. Quite a little ice spell you have there, huh? Ooh. Not quite enough to take Brandart down, but uh did chill me quite to the bone. I should rest here just a moment. Clear my mind and uh patch my wounds just a little bit, huh? Ah oh, goodness. The fellow, so powerful he was. Ah and now Brandar Increases his power. Wonderful. Let's see what we have here. Ah. Elemental spells cost 30% less magicka to cast in favorable weather. Fire spells cost less in sunlight. Frost spells less during snowfall. Shock spells in the rain. That seems quite applicable, does it not? Reduce the cost of my fire spells even further? Although I don't think that shall do me much good deep underground. 
prowling the caves. Perhaps I should have given that just a bit more consideration. But what's done is done, huh? Hmm. It seems this path winds around and around. How shall I find my way to the top? Slowly. Slowly but surely. The Ritual Master. Hmm. She has died. And so has her, uh, her fellow here. Interesting. Where's the Atronarch that caused this destruction? Hmm. The Book of Refugees. Hmm. I shall bring. We should have a bit more story time, I do think. But first I will read through these spell books, yes. This is probably what interests me the most. Lightning rune spell. I know oak flesh and stone flesh. I know the ward spells. Mm. Conjure familiar? I don't think that's a good idea. Brandar does not play with the conjuration magic so much. Lightning rune. Yes. This will be fine to set some traps, huh? I should quite like that. Hmm. And where has it gone? Lightning rune. There we are. Let us give it a try. Ah, so sneaky it is. It does not even hurt its master. Wonderful. How about this chest? Anything nice for me here? Soul gems, rubies, scrolls. Ah, more spell tomes. Very nice. Some gold necklaces. Battle Axe of Freezing. It is cold to detach. Hmm. I suppose that is all for this place, huh? Well, it was nice. A nice little mystery to solve. But that is over now. The thing that we said we would do, we have now done. So I can uh, leave Skyrim in peace. Look for my brother. Last I heard, he's somewhere in Morrowind. Ah, so back to the start, I do suppose. It took me so very long to find my way out of Morrowind. And then all of a sudden, oh, why don't you go back here again? I don't really want to. Ah. Seems I cannot find my way out from here. I should not have jumped down here in such a rage. <sighs> it poisons the mind, you see. Very unfortunate. Well, if we cannot find our way back up, then we must somehow find our way through, yes? I suppose that's how these things work. Ah. Oh, hurt me just a little bit. Hello there. Nobody's here. Calm your pretty little head, huh? <laughs> oh boy. This is not good. So much cold! Why do they enjoy the cold spells so, huh? Oh my. This is not good. Who would have dunk it? Get the best of me taken by a, a draw gear. Disgusting creatures that they are. 
Well, I should have a little snack. This will restore my health. Nice. And now, you die. <laughs> you give up, do you? Too late. Far too late for that. Please have mercy, he says. Puh. Good luck. Good luck with that one, my friend. Hmm. Isle of Ash. With a garnet ring. Oh, I do so appreciate that. Hmm. Another necromancer. Or is this the one I found before? But had I taken this path before, I would have noticed the uh, the two fellows on the stairs there, no? Once again, my mind spinning in circles. Unsure how to conquer this cave. Perhaps if I get to the top and perform a ritual. Mmm. Ah, ha, ha. Go on, lift me up, I'm looking for a bit of divine intervention. Ah. Seems Brandar has not prayed enough to be uh, worthy of a divine intervention. What a shame that is. Hmm. How do I start this ritual? I've lost everything I have multiple times and uh, I always end up finding my way back onto my feet so if he's if this is how it ends I'm sure in the next life I shall be able to do the same huh looking round and round there seems no uh, no escape for me here goodness I've left this necromancer clothed. What a mistake. <laughs> uh, this is not good. Not good at all, friends. Up and down and all around. Oh, a switch. Yes, okay. This does nothing. I've seen the switch before. Maybe if I keep my eyes peeled on the way to the exit. Do not stray from the path. Yes, okay. Is this a separate way? And I've simply uh, wasted my time, huh? Sure, I've been here before as well. <sighs> up, up. Brandar wants up and out. Ah, so it is. Oh, friends. My brain, I just can't anymore. I simply cannot. I used to be able to, but now I cannot. Richard! Richard! Daddy does not have time for this, Richard! Come now! Uh, where has that horse of mine gone? Ridiculous. Forced to wander through the woods all by oneself? <sighs> Perhaps we can find a bit of refuge in this tower here. A good night of rest, and then I can find my horse and head out of this godforsaken place. Ah, spent far too long here anyways. My goodness. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.